Hi guys, this is Vivek here. In this video, I'll be talking about how to return data to Power Apps from a flow. I know a lot of you guys have been talking about it, uh, have been asking for it in the community forums. Um, there was also an idea submitted by one of the users, David, um, where he talks about how he implements it using custom connectors, but it's it just takes a lot of time and you will end up creating multiple custom connectors um, which which is just not I mean it's not that easy to do that so I, I recently saw this blog post on Microsoft uh, flow um, community um, it was just a few days back actually where they talk about this in detail and I thought it would be nice to kind of implement a, a quick video to show how this works so let's get started and uh, I've just created a simple power app with a, just a blank screen with a, uh, a button control and uh, let me talk about the flow first and we will come back here later on. So as you can see I've created a, a flow uh, return data to power apps. Um, my trigger is power apps. Um, I'm just trying to get um, my profile using the Office 365 users connector um, just to keep this video simple. And um, I'm using the respond to power apps to send back data to power apps. Now, I know this is something new for a lot of you guys, so let's, uh, I'll just show you how you can kind of use this so till now you were seeing power apps as only a trigger inside microsoft flow but now you will see there is also an action called power apps respond to power apps and that's what you can use to send back data so there are three types of outputs that you can send back uh, there's text, file, and email. I haven't yet played around with these ones. Uh, so I'll be just covering the text portion in this video. So I've defined a variable user country and it's just returning the, the country that is fetched from the get my profile. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see how to implement it on the Power App side now. So I'll go to the button, uh, on select property. Um, I'll add the flow, get data, get data from Power Apps. Uh, so I think the name is different. I, I changed the name in flow, but it didn't change over here. So that was a bit confusing. So yeah, so you can see the return data to Power Apps is my flow name and that's that's what I'm adding over here. Now this will just run the flow, but you won't be able to kind of capture any data. So what we'll do is I'll use the set function data from flow. I'll define a, a global variable. Um, and yeah, so what it will do is whatever data is being uh, sent by the flow, it will get saved in this global variable data from flow. Now to access the, the data that has been sent, let's, uh, um, I've inserted a label here and I'll go to the text property and just say, data from flow now you want to access the the user country variable that's defined so if you have multiple outputs that you're defining over here um, it will help you kind of access those different outputs by using data from flow dot user country so if you have other outputs you can use that by saying data from flow dot whatever it is so 
Yes, it's it's as, as easy as this. I'll just uh, run the flow now by clicking on this button. And there you go. You can see it uh, return data from the uh, flow. Um, it returned the the country from that was fetched from my u uh, my profile from Office 365 Users Connector. Um, this is this is not the best I would say use case <laughs> in any way, um, but I can imagine a lot of different cases where this would be really helpful for a lot of you guys. Um, let's say if you are creating a SharePoint item in a in a list and you want to return the the ID of that uh, uh, item created in the list, so you can define you can create a SharePoint item and pass the ID in here and then use that ID for anything that you want to kind of do further in the app so I think that's one of the good use cases I would say that I could also possibly use in one of my apps so yeah I mean there there would be m multiple situations uh, where you can use this and uh, I hope uh, this video helped you in understanding this better um, you can always go to this blog post and get some more information about how to implement this there's some more details about uh, if you have multiple kind of um, uh, i mean if you have a list of names um, how to kind of access those uh, by using a split function so this is definitely in detail um, you can look at um, much more detail in here. Uh, I'll I'll insert the the link to this blog post and this video below, and um, you can look at it. So yes, uh, if you did like the video, uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Um, please do share and uh, comment if you want any other videos uh, in Power Apps that you would like to see. I recently did a video on uh, custom click-through analytics. It was a webinar that I uh, did with Audrey and uh, you can definitely check that out. I'll insert uh, a link to that as well in this video. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and happy power apping.